Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. I will be sharing few important tricks to make it a perfect design. So please watch this tutorial completely. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first go to view tab and enable the guides. Next go to insert tab, select shapes and then draw a circle shape through center of slide holding down Ctrl and shift keys. Make it no fill and change the outline color to red just for better visibility. Next duplicate this circle using Ctrl plus D. Align it at the same position and then reduce the size by dragging the corner point holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Next go to insert tab, select shapes and then draw a oval shape. Align it to the center small circle. Let me increase its transparency to see through and then zoom in for better visibility. Now adjust the size of oval shape until it perfectly aligns with the center small circle. Next duplicate this oval shape using Ctrl plus D and then holding down shift key rotate this shape by 45 degrees. First instance will be of 15 degrees, next 30 degrees and then it will be 45 degrees. Once it is rotated, make sure to align it to center small circle. Let me zoom out and duplicate it one more time using Ctrl plus D. Holding down shift key, rotate this shape by 45 degrees and then align it to center small circle. Let's continue to duplicate this oval shape. Now we can flip them horizontally or vertically as per need and align them to center circle shape. Or you can drag these oval shapes holding down Ctrl key to create the duplicates and align them as shown. Finally, all oval shapes must be arranged in a pattern as shown. Next drag and select all these oval shapes. Go to shape format menu on the top. Select merge shapes and then fragment all shapes together. Let all shapes be selected. Now holding down shift key. Just click on 8 outer shapes to deselect them as these are the main shapes for our design. Now with all other shapes selected, go to merge shapes option and then union all shapes together. Next let me zoom in and you can see there are many unnecessary lines. Normally to remove these lines, we go to edit point option and then delete these extra edit points. But in this case, it takes lot of time. So to remove these extra edit points, let me show you a trick. Let me click outside once and then select the middle shape and then change its fill color just to differentiate it from other shapes. Now let's go to insert tab, select shapes and then draw a rectangle shape in such a way that it must cover most of these extra lines. But make sure this rectangle shape remains within the outer boundaries. Next select the middle shape and this rectangle shape and then union them together. Now you can see. All these additional lines are removed. Let's again go to shapes option and then draw few more rectangle shape to cover all extra projected lines. You can create the duplicates and place them all around as shown. Next again select the middle shape and these rectangle shapes and then union them together. Now even after all these operations, we are still left with few small projected lines and now without any further option. We have to select edit points and delete all these extra points. Since now the edit points are very less, we can easily delete them with few trials. Let me zoom out and that looks perfect. Next select all 8 outer shapes, remove their outline and then change their fill colors using eyedropper tool and color palettes. Let me speed up to save time. Also, let's change the background color by going to more color option. 
and then apply any darker shade of color as shown. And to the middle shape, let's apply the same color as that of background but make it slightly lighter in shade. Let's bring back its transparency level. Then apply solid outline with background color and then increase its weight to 3 points. Finally, right click on this middle shape and bring it to front. Next go to insert tab and then draw the lines to show the separation between all 8 sections. Draw this line in such a way that it touches the corner points as shown, passes through the center of the slide and touches the outer reference circle shape. Now duplicate this line using Ctrl plus D. Rotate it by 45 degrees and align it to next set of corner points. Let's continue to duplicate this line. Flip them vertically and align it to next set of corner points. Make sure we have a line separator at every section of this design. Now select all these lines, change their outline color and then increase its weight to one point. Finally, right click and send them to back. Also, delete the reference circle shape. Now let's add all the text fields to finalize this design. Let me speed up to save time. So here is the final preview of this beautiful infographic design. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.